Hello there. I um, decided at the last minute to go ahead and uh, record this. I've got the uh, my Buffalo Forge Model 500 Forge Blower um, that I got that didn't have a hand crank, but it has a, uh, can't see in there, there's a pulley. And there was a belt on it. I cut the belt off. Somebody, I guess, must have had an electric motor running it. I thought about running it with like a little Maytag Model 92 or something like that. Um, but I don't want to get that involved with it. So I was at a flea market the other day and I found this hand crank and I was working on it the other night. And um, you can see it's got one flat side. It had two flat sides on it. And I took the grinder and uh, with the Dremel and cleaned that out. And it was, it was shaped like that. And I was trying to, I didn't realize, this is cast iron, I didn't realize it at the time because I was using a Dremel. And um, you can usually tell by the sparks, the uh, how much it is, the sparks and, and the color, if it's cast iron or regular steel. And I didn't, didn't make no note of it or even notice it when I was using the Dremel because it was such a small area when I cleaned this up that it was cast iron. And when I had uh, had it sitting in the vise and I was heating it up trying to straighten it out, it just broke on me. So I already took the uh, handle, it was uh, riveted on there, and I had to grind the flare off the back end of it, heat it up, and, and drive it out. And what I'm going to do is I've already beveled my edges. I'm going to put it together that way. That way it'll kind of look cool when it's on the uh, when it's on the blower. It actually will be like that. And it'll look kind of cool when I'll, I'll remount because the handle is facing the other way. The handle will stick out on this side. And uh, that's a little small for my hand. So I'll get a bigger handle. And um, so here we go. I'm going to try and uh, get him welded up. Do this quick because I'm almost out of storage so here it is I didn't I didn't film it but I ended up drilling a hole too big it didn't take the uh, threads good for a 5 16 so I had to go up one size to a 3 8 and I took a I did it again like I did on one of the grinders um, the hand grinders I have I used an old file handle and uh, so there she is all all welded back together and used a flap disc it's hard to hard to imagine that thing was broke but here we are something hitting in there i gotta take the uh bolts apart see what's going on but uh otherwise it works great so there we go pretty pleased another cast iron well 
hard to imagine.